Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, finally, DraftKings came through and added some fights to, to their uh, website. They didn't have anything up there. Like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? But they added Noakes uh, and Yvonne Mendy and a bunch of other fights. Uh, today, on this show, we're going to get into Sam Noakes, Yvonne Mendy, which is a really, really, really good fight. A really good fight. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Please join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It can also be found in that banner below. Just $5 a month gets you all the perks you want. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you uh, Ask the Bookie Anything, a free t-shirt. It gets you all the perks you need, just $5 a month. Ask the box of bookie anything, uh, lock of the week, free T-shirt. Let me know what you guys want. I got you. And we're also going to start a Discord in that. We're starting to get enough members in that now where we can have a nice little Discord uh, going. And also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, that's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, guys. Uh, let's get into the show. Sam Noakes. Ivan uh, Mendy, I am counting down the days on my calendar for this fight. This is how good of a fight I think this is. Sam Noakes, a 13-0 undefeated prospect, 13 wins, 13 knockouts. So literally knocks out everyone. Ivan Mendy, I think, is one of the most difficult guys to deal with. Like, this is a massive step up. He's 48-6. and six. And he goes the distance all the time, and he gives everyone disasters. And he just and, and he's thirty eight now, but he's he's a pro, he's a veteran, he's incredibly skilled, he's athletic, he's a tough guy. He's got the smarts for it. He's got a tough guy to deal with in the ring. This is a massive step up for Noakes. Uh, Mendy, not long ago, December of twenty two, so about less than a year and a half ago, he lost a real tight decision to uh, Dennis. Uh, Brinchek. So what I'm saying is Noakes has to be that good. If Noakes is not that good, he's fitting to lose. And in his last fight, Mendy beat an undefeated prize break who was 25-0-1. The odds on this fight are insane. I have no idea why they're this wide. Um, and that's what makes this a challenge. But Noakes is a strong Bold, come forward fighter, strong built, short, strong built, high guard, decent movement. He's a bull in a china shop kind of guy. Uh, I wish he jabbed a little more. He doesn't jab enough. He doesn't set things up. He needs to use his jab more, but he commits to his power. He commits to his shots, uh, and he doesn't waste things. He gets on the inside, and he can get on the inside of anyone because, like I said, he's strong as a bull. Good power. Right, but it's really his physical strength that makes him so hard to deal with. He, he's a good body puncher. He's everything you would want in a pressure fighter, except he doesn't jab enough. Decent athlete, too. Moves okay. Not slow plotting. He's got a little bit of movement to him. He's got a little rhythm to him. He's an excellent finisher. Once you get your heart, that's it. You're, you're in trouble. It's, it's about to be over. Really good on the inside. He's relentless. He's not a huge volume guy like some pressure fighters, but his volume is good enough. He uses his physical strength. That's his his best attribute is how he can use his, his strong frame and body, and he can bully you, and he can keep you in the ropes, and he can move you around the ring with his with his body. Um, straight up pressure fighter. He has a little tendency if you can get him frustrated. And this is Mendy's kind of path to victory. Is he get him frustrated because he gets wild, right? And then Mendy can have him if if he can get him uncomfortable, if he can get him out of his, his, his zone, if he can get, create space, keep him at, and, and just kind of pepper him and, and spray him and stuff. And Mendy, his, his knockout ratio isn't good, but his power is a little better than what you, what you would expect. Uh, he can get him wild. He can get him frustrated. He can really, really get his fight going. Mendy can get in his rhythm. Mendy likes to come forward too. And this is why I, 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 I like notes because this is going to be combustion. Mendy is not what a lot of people think he is, which is a backward fighter. He's not. He's a front foot fighter. Uh, good movement. Good athlete. Not a hyper athlete, but but good athlete. You know, he's straight in and out. It's not a lateral movement. That's what I'm saying. This fight is going to be good. It's going to be in the center of the ring. 
The problem with Mendy is he's 38. If this fight's at 28, I take Mendy all day. But he's not. He's 38. So we're talking about something completely different. One punch at a time, too much. Not a big volume guy. But he's, he uses his jab in spots. He, he, he does show up. And, you know, that's what Noakes has got. Noakes has got to put the pressure on him, work him to his body, and get him in that defensive posture and just kind of let his hands go. Like I said, not a lot of lateral movement, but he doesn't look to, to run either. He, you know, he, he's, he's just there to box you. It, make, try to slip, make you miss, and just stand in front of you. It, he's, a, he's, a, he's a fun fighter. He's an adorable guy. He doesn't fade, right? Even at his age, you watch his later fights, he's not fading. He's not running into a wall. This is going to be a fight. It's a 12-round fight, right? Let me make sure that it's a 12-round fight. It's a 12-round fight. This is going to be a fight for 12 rounds. Mendy's not going to fade and get stopped and, you know, eat a bomb. Oh, I mean, he could get stopped in theory, but he's not, you know, he's not going to run out of gas because he's old is what I'm trying to say. I'm guessing he's going to be more stationary than we've seen in Luke Campbell fights and fights like that in the past. Um, but he's got he's a clean, accurate puncher, and he's got a high ring IQ, and he lands on the button. And like landing on the button from long range adds the impact. That's why like his power is not great, but it's effective. Um, Mendy is a really good fighter. I'm gonna pull up the odds on this fight, and I don't like them. Let, let me see. Hang on one second. Of course, I'm, I'm out of pocket here. Let me get right here. The odds are, I think. Criminal, and this is what I mean. The odds makers, the bookies, they, they they don't know what they're doing. I do. That's why I'm the best in the world at this. All right. What I, I got a million things open. Uh. All right. There we go. There we go. Money line. Sam Noakes minus seven fifty. I, I'm sixty forty that Noakes is gonna win this fight. So I'm just a little bit too confident that Noakes is going to win this fight to put money on Mendy. So I'm going to put money on Noakes, and it's not going to make us a ton of money, unfortunately. $100, bet makes you thirteen thirty-three. I don't like this bet. I don't like. I don't. I don't. I don't love this. I. I this is not what I want to do. I, I don't love these odds here. I don't. I don't like this. Right. I'm just not. If, if I was more 50-50, I would take this. But I'm just 60-40. This is not a bad bet if you're willing, if you're okay with losing the money. Because I I think at, at plus 475, Mendy is great value. I just don't think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna lose a 116-112 decision. That's what I think. So this is the bet I gotta take. I don't love it. I, if I was making the odds, I would have this thing close to even. Um, I think Noakes will get the benefit of a hometown decision too, so factor that in. But I, I think this is a really close fight. I, I just I, I want to give you guys the upset here. I want you guys to make money on Mendy, but honestly, I just gotta lean towards Noakes. Just just ever so slightly. I, I you know, if, if I was a little more 50-50, I would say let's just roll the dice and go with Mendy. And I don't think Mendy's a bad bet. If you guys want to take Mendy because he's such a live dog and this is such a step up and a stylistic challenge for Noakes. I, I don't hate it, but my official bet on the record, Sam Noakes, one times bet, we're not making a ton of money. My advice to you is to avoid this fight like a plague. It's, the, the, the risk is not worth the squeeze here. I would not bet on this fight. That's my that's my honest advice to you. Um, I'm not going to have it. Um, there are maybe some bets I like on this. That's not one of them. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. There's always a bull market somewhere. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Um, I'm losing my brain today. The link is in the description. Five dollars a month gets a lock of the week, which we always hit on. It gets you ask the bookie anything, ask me a handicap any single fight. I'll make a video for you, uh, show you how to make money in any single fight. There's a free T-shirt involved. It's just five dollars a month. There's a ton of great perks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing bookie on all of social media. Also subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is. 
what, what is today's date? September? No, it's not September. Look, this is what I'm saying. It is April 17th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.